this is not my first attempt at, the, at this video. I was in the middle of doing the video, and no mistakes made or, or anything like that, and the doorbell rang, and the postman came and delivered me two of these, which is the or Ordo uh, LN-3s, which are the... Um, the night vision lights that we use on our cameras and they're pretty compact and when you put them on a cold shoe you're not wasting space because you can put something else then on top of it it's on full beam there it's on half beam there um, this camera picks up night vision for some reason and it comes out white you'll only see a little red light on those and uh, the um, you can charge them with your ordinary USB that you charge your phone with. So I'm going to plug that in. There. Plug that in there. But um, I ordered them three months ago. I thought I was never going to see them. But uh, they have arrived, thankfully. But uh, this is not what this video is about. This video is about the sony mitch micro m-100 mc which is a little recorder which looks like it looks like a camcorder but it isn't um i like this idea because the fact that the microphone is actually outside the case you're going to pick up less interference the sound on this is is pretty good in comparison to some of my little micro um recorders here it's uh <coughs> it's got great features here it's got on the top you got your play your records your forward and back switches back here you've got a pause button and uh, a stop stop button and play button all that kind of stuff on the back you have fast play on or off and um voice activation on and off as well on the back um right here on the back too is where you put two double a batteries like so and that slides in there uh, on the back you have your speed you got 2.4 and 1.2 people ask me what speed should they be on the best speed actually is 2.4 uh, higher speed you won't you won't have as much space on your tape but it records in better quality than uh, slower recordings because when the tape is going around and it's recording kind of slow sometimes you'll get that little drag noise uh, so the faster um, recording speed the better quality um, you got a headphone uh, socket there you don't have a microphone socket with this but you know the microphone on this is pretty pretty good you know um, that was my dog that wasn't me uh, up front you have like you would see on on a, a old radio station or a, a, an old TV station studio room where you have your little red light on air kind of thing the voice activation works like I can't do it on camera because um, um, I'm holding it in my hand and, and I'll make noise if I twitch it and that but when you when you uh, press record and leave it, the red light will go off. When you speak again, it will go back on again. People have asked me, does voice activation, will that work in paranormal research? The simple question is, I don't know. Um, you know, we have, we have um, trigger objects, devices, that are triggered off by paranormal activity like REM pods and EMF meters and stuff like that does it trigger off uh, voice activation personally I haven't experienced it because I'm only um, re recently had recorders with voice activation on them and that 
and um, yes, I had the 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 QR, the Panasonic QR uh, eighty, which looks like a DR sixty that has voice activation. I actually haven't used that uh, the voice activation in on it um, as yet, but it'd be interesting um, to to uh, see does that. Um, Will that work in paranormal research? I don't know. Um, you know, th there has been reports that, that um, uh, people have used recorders with uh, with the um, microphone disconnected and they were still getting EVPs despite no microphone. So, uh, yeah, it, you know, it's it's all about trying things, you know. And it flickers with the sound of your speech. So um, that just indicates that you're picking up sound. Uh, at the front or at the side here, you've got your um, little um, counter uh, for your tape. And um, function lights here, including the battery. If the battery starts going low, that light will flash. Um, you also have microphone settings on the side here. Uh, I think it says lecture, meeting, and dictaphone uh, straight up. Um, good quality, good quality uh, construction, and it's got little legs like that, so you can sit it on a surface like that. And um, you know, if you're having a meeting and that, you put it on the on your table and. It picks up the sound around the room. Um, yeah. Um, I haven't seen this recorder before. I came across it by accident in that. And, um, you know, because I'm doing paranormal research and EVP research and stuff like that, I thought I would give that one a little shot as well. I did buy another uh, mini tape recorder and I had it running for about five minutes and next thing the tape stopped and I listened to it and the motor was still running and that so obviously um, the belt inside has perished and sometimes that will happen so um, I have to try and find somebody that can repair that for me or try and find some belts. Um, but that is that little... Oh yes, there's a volume switch up front as well, which is pretty cool. Um, yeah, it, it's, it's a good quality construction. There's your micro... There's your micro um, tape. Cassette tape that slides in there. And uh, yeah, it's not a bad little. It's not a bad little thing. Um, yeah, I look forward to uh, bringing that with me whenever I can flip and get out. Oh, it's one thing I I missed. Somebody has sketched their name on the bottom. Or J McMahon. Hmm. I didn't see that when I was. Uh, I didn't see that up until now, but it's a kind of sketched into the bottom of it. But um, yeah, it's 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 old school recording. The quality on this seems to be better than some of the other little recorders that um, I do have uh, in the line of cassette tape recorders and stuff like that. So uh, yeah, pretty hard to find though. I must say, pretty hard to find. I only could find two. Uh, on sale on eBay um, when I went to look for them so um, that is uh, that is uh, something that I will mess with uh, giving the opportunity this is a sound sample from uh, this um the you know the Sony is a, is a, is a good brand, so um, I I did find that the sound quality on this was better than some of the other recorders that I um, that I bought. Um, so this is a uh, this is a little recording just to show you what it sounds like. I have to 
to say this week has been hilarious. Donald Trump's lawyers are helping Donald, Donald Trump organize legal action against some states uh, over the presidential election and they boot the Four Seasons to do their press conference and accidentally um, boot the Four Seasons landscape company to do the press conference when it should have been the Four Seasons Hotel and um, the Four Seasons landscape company was between a, a adult sex shop and a crematorium. So, um, that um, was a little bit embarrassing, but quite funny to watch. Quite That's basically what it sounds back on playback. Um, normally when you rec would record with one of these, you would tr transfer it over to digital and then put it through your computer and that. But a good quality and... You know, you know it's good quality when it's nice and heavy, uh, so there's good mechanisms inside and stuff like that, you know. Um, strangely enough, all my cameras are all Sony, and, um, you know, I choose Sony, old-fashioned Sony night vision cameras over the cheaper night vision cameras that you can get now. And, um, you know, um, they are actually, they're heavier than the cameras you get now, but uh, build quality um, is is way superior than a cheap camera that I had bought. And I thought, you know, the night vision is going to be great on this, but um, build quality, picture quality was, was not half as good. So, um, you know, that's why I had chosen the old-fashioned Sony cameras. But I'm saving for the for a, one of those semi-professional Sony night vision cameras. So, you know, um, you know, uh, one of the reasons for that is um, it's got a lot more features than the older cameras and it's got better steady shot and all the rest. But I, I don't even think there's... Um, I don't even think there's stability. There is stability on some of the cameras that I, that I use, it, but it's not very good in comparison to modern uh, um, camera stability and stuff like that. But, you know, um, build quality, pretty, pretty good. Um, a nice little recorder. Must have been a nice, uh, a great little, little um, device way back in the day before we turn to digital and that i just thought i would share that with you um it's a a unique looking um cassette recorder you know but um yeah i'm gonna leave it for now folks i'll see you in the next video maybe i'll get out today you know uh yesterday i wasn't feeling very well and um it's been raining most of the time folks and i had the uh unfortunate event of a a leak in the roof of my car that flooded the inside of my car so um you know that is drying out at the moment and i got the leak sort of fixed and that so hopefully it won't happen again but um we had torrential rain and it destroyed the inside of my car but hopefully hopefully things are on the up <laughs> you know but folks i'll see you in the next video I was just saying to myself, I bet you I'm going to have floods of comments saying, uh, are you back in prison? No, I'm back in prison. I've got you there. Um, I first made that remark about this T-shirt, this orange T-shirt, which I'm not going to wear on air again. Um, pretty, pretty embarrassing, I have to say. Do you know? Um, I'll see you in the next one, folks.